forward to where now we're about to do a cover on Showcase magazine. My wife shoot, shoots for Showcase, and my wife shoots is shooting the, the cover. And then as she's shooting the cover, Mac Dre, Mac Dre, Miami, and Kilo pull up. Yeah, she told this story on the podcast. So they, That's right. So they pull up. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they pull up. I'm outside with D-Ray, and, and Dre's like, yo, G, let's, let's go inside, bro. Frank inside? I want to holler about a cover, bro. He's like, matter of fact, don't you guys got two covers? He goes, I want two covers. Has anyone ever did two covers? I want back-to-back covers, right? And I'm like, holy shit. That's like the first. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, like, this is my first, like, real-life interaction with this dude. And I'm like, holy, like, the way he is, I'm like, holy shit, this is crazy. And, like, I'm loving it, right? Yeah. I'm like, juice. I'm a, like, I'm, I'm a Bay Area fan, bro. Like, of course. Like, let me just say that. Anyone listening to this, everything I've ever done, I'm a fucking fan of this yeah, shit. As, as we all are, I'm man. I'm a super fan. Hell so yeah. So we, this is, so walking in, we go start hollering about Frank, hollering to Frank about the cover and talking about two covers. And then that's when he sees the the fab truck. The fab truck's parked back there. And he's like, and then he sees there's a Tech Nine truck over there. He's, right. I remember Tech Nine was mobbing so, around with the, with the truck so, so out he here had for the a minute. Showcase, he had mm-hmm. the showcase Tech Nine truck. And Mac Dre was like, hey, Cuddy, what's, what's one of them? I want a Mac Dre truck. What's that thing called? I want a Mac Dre truck. I want a cover. I want two covers. He's talking to Frank. Frank's like, "Oh shit!" Da, da, da. So I'm, I'm in the office because I'm, I'm, ex- I'm ex- like assistant editor, right? So I'm in there just chilling, talking shit, and I'm like, "Oh shit!" It's just going down, going down. And I just ask Mac Dre, like, "Dre, how come you ain't, how come you ain't putting those songs to the radio right now?" And he's like, "Um, gee, you are my song. I'm too hard for the fuck with radio." And he's just laughing. I'm like, "Nah, serious." He's like, "Bro, I don't know. They don't fuck with me like that." And then I, that's when I tell him, like, bro, my brother, bro, my brother fucking up at the radio, bro. Fucking, we grew up Mac Dre fans. I would love, it would be my honor to take you up to the station, bro. Go, you know, go, just at least go meet my brother and shit. And, you know, I don't know what's popping. He's like, oh, shit, let's put it together. So that was like, that was my introduction to that. As we're in the office, I'm, I'm, I'm pitching fab, of course. To Dre. Of course. Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm like they're talking, you know, I'm talking with, we already, we already inked in that I'm going to help him with the radio a little bit, right? And I'm like, I'm like, hey, Dre, I got this young artist, bro. He's super dope. His name is Mr. Fab. And he's like, yeah, yeah, probably so. He's like, man, man, I'll be honest, man. I got so many, I got so many obligations to the crest right now, G. I got so many obligations, man. He said, but man, man, if I expand this, he goes, I'm thinking about starting some of this this thing. I'm this this, this is entertainment. He said, I don't know, though, man. You know, I got a lot of people I got to worry about. So then... That's, it goes away. And we we actually hook up with Dre because B-Love, we see B-Love at the grill. We're recording at the grill. Shout out Lev in the grill. Yes, um, sir. We're recording um, songs for Son of a Pimp that are on Son of a Pimp. Some songs, we weren't part of Dre's thing yet. And um, B-Love's like, hey, does Fab want to get in this, uh, this DVD y'all making? And it was the, the Need for Speed. Exhibition of Speed. Exhibition of yes, speed sir. Like, so we were like, oh, fuck yeah, let's do it. And he's like, let's do it in front of the truck. So we do it in front of the truck. And I think once Dre seen that, Dre was like, holy shit, that dude's a fucking superstar. Yo, Cuddy, we need to fuck around with that. And then come to find out, like, Fab's blood cousin is Nucci. Nucci's Mac Dre's, like, real live outside manager at the time, right? So it, like, it all, it all started working itself out in, in that sort of sense. And little by little... I started helping him with the label. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like when I started helping with the Thiz label, like I don't know, like it was almost like a wedding, honeymoon, and then Mac Dre gets murdered. Yeah, short lived. You know what I mean? With with Dre alive. Like I, you know, me, like maybe like close niche working maybe a year and a half, two years, you know what I mean? And then we we signed with Dre like maybe seven months before he gets murdered. Right. Like, we hanging out with him and shit and, like, all that kind of stuff. But Dre's officially like, yo, fab, do da da And it's just... So, like, during that time is when I'm getting close with Kilo and Miami and him, and, and they see the way I'm, you know, I, I move things, so I became the, the label manager. I've heard it said that one of Dre's plans for this was to take over the whole bay by having artists from every city, pretty much. That... That was so, the whole, that's what this entertainment was going to be. Mob figures, I heard. Mob, mob figures, fab, 
Um, there wasn't. The, then you got. Um, Heard he was interested in fully loaded from Frisco. Fully loaded, fully loaded. You got Johnny Cash and them, Ryder J. Clyde, obviously from the Mob Figures. But but it was it wasn't Mob Figures as a whole. Yeah. It was more like Hustler, Jacka, you know what I mean, that sort of thing. Um, Ryder was already on this. You know, Ryder exactly, and you know that's that's Little Dre. Mm-hmm. That's, that's that's Little Dude. You know what I'm saying? And um, so Dre's goal was like, yo. I think it'd be dope. His, his entertainment goal was to sign someone dope from each city to represent this, to kind of share the the love he's getting. Like it was never, it was never like, oh, I'm gonna take over the bay. Yeah. It, it was like, yo, we we gotta find a way to share this attention. Well, Jack has said in um, one of his lines, if Mac Dre was here, I probably would have signed it this. And I got my own label now, I'll probably sign my nicks. Come on, come on. And that was like Dre's dream was to get everyone a million dollars. You know what I mean? He, he wanted to make everyone rich off music. That, that was his, his... Can y'all imagine how fucking crazy it would have been if that's where the Fizz movement went? And then when... Man. When, when Dre passed is when it turned into Fizz Nation. Yes. And then you also had Town Thizzness, Fizz City. So in a way, that that did come into fruition. I mean, that, that was Dre's plans, but when Dre, when Dre got murdered, his estate... The, the things that were happening, we had to start a new company. Yeah. So that's where this Nation came in. And, right. that, and that's when we're like, yo, it just makes sense to let everyone have their own piece. Yeah. You know what I mean? From Jay Styles and them, to from, you know, Frisco with Juice and them, you know what I mean? All that little fun stuff. Recognize where you got the game. We got our own style, got our own slang. Northern California is a West Coast thing. This is the history of the bank. Recognize where you got the game. We got our own style, got our own slang. Northern California is a West Coast thing. This is the history of the Bay.